Bill's checking all IDs against your list. We're checking this church from top to bottom. So far, it's clean. Thanks. We're sealing it off now. Uh, no one gets in unless their name's on this list. Good work. How many men are you leaving here? I figured ten. Good. That should do it. And we're taking the same precautions at the chateau. Thanks a lot, Lieutenant. I want to nail this creep as bad as you do, Tad. Hey, we're going to get him. Lieutenant. Yeah, Dan. Call for Tad Martin. That's me. Uh, the phone on the foyer. Hello? There he is, J. Martin, please. I'm uh, speaking. If I were you, sir, I would not bother with that rehearsal. Tackle. It's only the Tom Fool that rehearses for an event that's never going to happen. A new American cheese snack idea. Grill it up. If you had any dough your face, I'm ready for you, Billy, so why don't you just slither out from under your rock and pretend to be a man? Oh, I shall make my presence known. Do not fret, Mr. Tad Martian. For in the eyes of Jehovah, Sweet Dixie Bird is my bride, and I shall never let that sweet God-fearing child never commit pigamy. You come within a mile of my wife, and I'll kill you. I swear I'll kill you. <laughs> Damn it. What are you saying? He wants her. He said that there wasn't going to be a, a wedding. Tad, it's just talk, don't listen. I gotta call this. Tad! Tad, I she's gotta safe, she's okay. Both the kid and her are under guard. He didn't say anything else, nothing to go on? Not a thing. Look, I hope he is stupid enough to show up here. Because then we'll nail him and this nightmare will be over. So much to do. So little time. No, I want to nail him just as bad as you do, but this is the last place in the world I want to see him. I mean, Dixie's been through enough. She's a strong dame. She can handle Why it. should she? Don't you think just a little bit of upset is worth seeing this guy behind bars? Maybe you're right. Dylan. Yeah. Spotted. Where? Oh, I'm on Route 7 outside of Sea City. Hitchhiking. Hitchhiking? Yeah, headed south. Oh, great. This is great. When, when was this? Uh, 45 minutes ago. She could be anywhere then. Who ran away? My niece. She's 16 years old. She's determined not to get to 17. Here's your beautiful bride at this very moment. Oh. Hi. Hi. <laughs> oh. You okay? Yeah, I'm fine. I'm just a maybe a little nervous, maybe that's it. A little... Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> well, if I'm all nervous, it's just it's not anything bad. Well, Good nervous, not scared nervous. Did anything happen? No. Any more funny phone calls? No. Why? Well, Billy Clyde called here a while back. He did? Yeah. Why? What, what did he say? Nothing that bears repeating. Tad, tell me what he said. Just some more stupid threats, that's all. Okay? About the wedding? Honey, come on. Just, just calm down, please. Everything's going to be fine. Come here. Come here, I want to show you something. Take a good look around you, okay? All these people are policemen. Oh, well armed, and they're going to be here tonight for the rehearsal and tonight at the chateau for dinner, okay? okay. So don't worry about a thing. Everything is taken care of. Ted, I, like I said, I'm not worried. <laughs> Good. <laughs> That's my girl. Because one way or another, you and I are going to walk down this aisle, come hell or high water. You understand? Mm, oh, absolutely. There's nothing going to stop us now. Mm. Hey, Mr. You. Ah, hi, Lainey. Oof. All these cops around here make me feel like I'm back in the pen. <laughs> Where's Uncle Aren't they back yet? Oh, yeah, Opal is. Uh, she's at the house uh, waiting for Mr. C. Well, you do it perfectly. I mean, it's a tragedy. <laughs> what I mean to me with that people. Looks familiar, doesn't it? It's our favorite place. Yes, it is. Hey, get it right this time. Oh, come on. Ooh. They'll just have to keep on doing it until they get it right. <laughs> <laughs> hey, where's Opal? Oh, she'll be here. Yeah. Anything suspicious, you jump on it. You jump on it right away, you understand? Trevor, Good. excuse me. Yeah. What's the latest from Billy Clyde? We got gendarmes crawling all over the place. Even the choir boys are graduates of the police academy. We're hoping Thuggle shows up. Trevor! He's been threatening to bust up this wedding. Let him try, because we're ready. We're going to nail him. We're going to nail him good. I mean, about Billy Clyde, because if you know, I want to know. No, come on, I mean. What am I supposed to do? Shh. 
fall to my knees. Be quiet. And forgive me, Uncle Please Trevor, for I have sinned. Shut up, Oak. Sin. Hi, I'm really sorry to interrupt, but I thought you'd like your niece back. You're darn tootin' I do. Muchas gracias, kid. No problem. Can I claim sanctuary? I mean, we are in a church. Where'd you find her? Um, I was On the house taking... of ill repute. Shut your mouth. On the highway. Hitchhiking. Great. Just great. You know what can happen to a you like you on the highway hitchhiking? I already gave uh -huh. the lecture. Oh, like you're the expert on life. I have to get back to work. I'll yeah. see you later. Yeah, thanks a lot, kid. I owe you one. Yeah, so do I. What's this? Police brutality? You shut up and you listen to me. You're gonna stay at this uh -huh. little re rehearsal thing until it's over. You understand? Oh, I am? Yeah, you will. We'll talk about it at home. You don't rule me. Okay? Fine. But you're gonna do what I tell you to do. You're gonna sit over here and you're not gonna move. Uh, excuse me, excuse me, folks. Um, Reverend Thompson has got another appointment, but since Palmer and Opal aren't here yet, ever since Palmer and Opal aren't here yet, I'll, I'll volunteer to walk you down the aisle. There you go. Oh, that's fun. <laughs> great. Terrific. Terrific. Great. So, uh, I guess it's magic time, folks. Come on, places, please. Look who's directing his own wedding. <laughs> oh, wait, what's that song about the second time around? The love is lovelier the, the second, second time. Oh, hush, honey. Hush, hush, hush. Oh, um, I know where do we go? Song. All will be made clear, but before we start, uh, Dixie, my once and future wife, and I would like to thank you all for taking time out of your busy schedules to come down and help us with our latest and last wedding rehearsal. <laughs> so, like I said, it's magic time. Joseph, come here. Over here. I'll, I'll wait where do you here. want us? We'll stand right over here, to my right. You'll sing your selection, and the wedding march will begin. Melanie, we'll come down the aisle. Well, um, we'll escort Dixie down. Um, hey. Um, oh. Dad and Joey will be at the altar awaiting the bride. Uh, it's, it's like a flashback. I've been here before. It's all awesome. <laughs> <laughs> He's got the most of his parents. Yes, honey. Um, Palmer will hand the bride the groom. And the groom takes... Well, they already have. Uh, we've done this before. We're way ahead of you. <laughs> well, after my litany, you'll join hands, you'll make your vows, you'll exchange rings. Just out of curiosity, what happens if I blank and forget my line? <laughs> well, then I guess I'm going to have to prompt you or give you one of these. <laughs> <laughs> Everything's going to be perfect. Yes, it's going to be perfect. I promise. You know, a year ago, when we did this the first time, I didn't think I'd be capable of loving you any more than I did. But I was wrong. Because I do. I love you more than I thought I could love anybody. And the fact that you're willing to go through this again with me, in spite of everything that's happening, means more to me than you'll ever know. So tomorrow, you and I are going to be husband and wife again. And nobody is going to screw that up. I give you my word. Okay? Okay. Just let me go. I get one moment. Stop! Just stop! We can't go through with this. We gotta stop this wedding. As of now, the rehearsal is null and void. We know that you're in there. You know you make me wanna stop. This wedding simply cannot go on with Hal Palmer. Well, where is he? He's been delayed. So what? So he misses the rehearsal. Big deal. Indefinitely. <laughs> Indefinitely? You're just going to have to postpone the whole shindig. I'm sorry, but that's just the way that the wedding cake crumbles. That's oh, it. Oh, boy. What? what? Are you out of mind? There's got to be something. No, I'm not joke. fooling. Well, it's imperative, Ted. Well, why? Mrs. Corlin. Wait I'm... a minute. Wait, wait, wait just a second. She's my mother. I'll take care of it. Come here. Come here. Oh, Mama, you are shaken like a leaf. What is wrong with you? You tell me the truth. It's not me and it's not Palmer. Did something happen to you? Why are you so suspicious? Why can't Mama, you just accept that I are, know what's right something, for this Billy family? Clyde? That's, no, no, of course was it, it wasn't. Billy Clyde? No, it, did he do something to you? Huh? Okay, tell the truth. Where'd you see him? What did he say? Well, nothing. Did he threaten is you? Is it Toggle? Mama, tell the truth. Did he threaten you? Is it Toggle? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was Toggle. He bushwhacked me when I was trying to leave the manor. He said Neil. that somebody was going to die if I didn't stop this wedding. And I knew if I told you the truth, you'd never cancel. Toggle? Yeah, what, five, ten minutes ago? No more. 
Cortland Manor, we gotta go over there and search it out now. We'll get him. We'll get him. We'll get him. Let's go. All right. You take care of him. You have a Tinker nice... Bell in black here. Don't let her out of your sight. We, um, why don't we all just uh, adjourn to the chateau? I mean, it really is time for dinner anyway, okay? Yeah, Good yeah. idea. Everybody to the chateau. Right, this wedding is on. on. Is that, 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 that,